Okay guys, I'm back again underneath my 1991 Bounder motorhome, Ford F53 chassis, 460 Ford E4OD transmission. So, got a couple of helpful hints from some people about my low speed shifting problems. Um, they told me to look at the speed sensor. Speed sensors on a lot of these Fords is up on the differential. I've had... Uh, couple of different trucks that have had them on the differentials and replaced them before the later model trucks like the 99s um, the light on the column for the overdrive either flashes or stays on and it lets you know that the sensor is bad I'm not having that problem but I am having shift problems and this can um, create some shift problems for you I don't know if you can see this very well this is up underneath my motorhome and this thing is actually on my transmission um, and the you see the electrical connector and then right next to that is the speedometer cable and that hooks in and that goes right into the side I'm trying to adjust my flashlight here to get the camera angle right this goes right into the side of the transmission try to back this up a little bit and see if you can see it but this is up on the side of the transmission right at the very end where it goes out um, to the drive shaft and I have this thing on here I don't exactly know what it is and if you can tell me I don't know if this is a um, kind of like a trans brake um, e-brake type of thing for the and I can't even get my camera angle right but anyway um, that's what I'm looking at next is uh, I'm going to pop this out and I'm going to replace it. I can get this at AutoZone for like 23 bucks. Um, I am going to uh, change the plug for the solenoid pack, um, the one that plugs into the side of the transmission as well. But this is going to be an easier deal to replace really quick before I have to rewire that plug. So I will probably um, run up grab one of these, um, bring it back, put it on, and then test drive the vehicle to see if that doesn't change the problem. Uh, if it doesn't change the problem, I will move on to the um, plug on the transmission as well. Um, if it does fix the problem, uh, that'll be great, but I'm still gonna change the plug as well. Cause like I said, I had a couple of bare wires on that plug, like some of the other videos that I've seen on YouTube have shown. Um, that those those plugs get brittle and the wires get brittle and the the uh, uh, insulation starts to flake off. So we're going to go ahead and address that as well. So um, I'll let you know what happens on an update video.